Hey, what's going on, folks? How you doing? It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. I hope you are well. I hope you had a good night's rest. I hope that you're prepared to receive the word of the living God, which comes from the power of the Spirit through the Comforter, the Spirit of the Lord Yahushua, a.k.a. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, and you should rejoice, and be glad in it, and be glad in it. For this is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made all right our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation and deliver us from the evil one. For you are the kingdom, you are the power, and you are the glory. And all God's people said, Amen. Today is all we get. We're opening up this present called life. But our lives are just like sand through an hourglass. Slowly the sand trickles down through the funnel and we have no idea when our earthly bodies will return to the dust where it was come from so today I want to ask you where is your heart at have you set your desires on worldly things on money on power on social approval and likes on social status, on how big of a house you got, on how many cars you got. Folks, these are all worldly, temporary desires that people fill their hearts and minds and they just want more and more and more. But there's no substance for they could have the whole world. But what is the cost if they lose their soul? There is a better way. There is a way where your heart can be at peace, where your mind will stop racing, where you can free yourself from the chains of the world. And my friends, I got a little something I want to share because I care and so does the Lord. So sing hallelujah to his name for God so loved the world that he gave his only son and who shall ever believe on him shall have everlasting life that's john 3:16 in the living holy bible the word of the lord call upon his name proclaim the name of jesus confess it with your mouth and believe in your heart that the Lord raised him from the dead. And now you receiveth the Holy Spirit of Christ. And now you can move the mountains that are in your life. So seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these things will be given unto you. Because I want to be in the light as you are in the light. I want to shine like the stars in the heavens. 
O oh Lord, be my light and be my creation, because all I want is to be in the light. Folks, once you have the Holy Spirit of the living God living in your temple, for our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, you don't have to go to church to find God. Right now, you can call upon the name of Yahushua, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, and he will set you free from the bondage of the world and the bondage the evil one has over your mind. For when your mind is flooded with lies and negative thoughts and feelings towards another man or someone else, or he's telling you you're no good or not worthy of God's grace, all you got to do is say, flee from me, Satan, in Jesus' name. We rebuke you. Let the love come on in. Let the forgiveness and healing come on in. Be on fire with the Urak HaKodesh, which is the spirit of the living God. And see how it moves you and helps your neighborhoods, helps bring unity. Walk in the spirit, which is being kind, humble, meek, compassionate, forgiving. Turn the other cheek. No longer do we fight eye for eye. If somebody hurts you, don't try to return it with physical pain, but love them, bless them, show them the way. If somebody asks money from you, give, because give and it will be given unto you, folks. Love your neighbor as yourself. And love the Lord God Almighty with all your heart, soul, and mind. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you listen to the words that I say. Because I sincerely love all of you. And want you to come to have a relationship with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. For God the Spirit took the form of man. His name was Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a.k.a. Yahushua. Hamasiak, Jesus the Messiah, and he came for this world not to condemn it, but to bring life to its fullest. So you may blossom like the lotus flower or blossom like the rhododendron in the Northwest in Washington. You friends are all flowers in the Lord's eyes. All you got to do is have faith in what the Lord did on the cross because he paid the ultimate price for you. He shed his blood and suffered to take away the sin of the world. It is finished for the grace of the Lord covereth up all sin. And it's not by your works that gets you into the heavenly realms but it's by your faith in him and through his grace that you are saved. So sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Have a blessed day. If you would like to get a hold of me, you can email me at Isaac, I-S-A-A-C, Newlywed, N E W L Y W E D, at gmail.com. I am there for you. I will write back. I will pray for you. And have a glorious day. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs>